Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Holly from Holly Bell Knits, and today we are going to talk about all of the Musselburg hats that I have made recently. Like, I cranked these things out so fast. It's unbelievable. You can find me all over the interwebs as Holly Bell Knits. I'm on Facebook and Instagram, and my website is www.hollybellknits.com. I'm also on Ravelry if you want to go check out my project pages. I will have everything linked in the description box below if you want to come and check me out. Okay, so let's get started into today's video. If you do follow me on Instagram, you will know that I have knit nine. I've knit nine Musselberg hat at this point. I have my 10th one on the needles right now. This one happens to be going a lot slower and there's one reason for that and that is because I have been reading like completely enthralled with reading Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I've read Six of Crows, loved it, and I am on Crooked Kingdom. I'm actually... Okay, my book is right here with the rest of my mess here. I'm that far. I have this much left to go before I finished with this book. And let me tell you, if you like to read and you haven't read this, I highly recommend it. If you like fantasy and adventure and characters and, oh, love it. Okay, anyways, back to... The thing that I'm here to tell you about today. So I made Musselburg hats. The pattern will be linked below as well. It is by Isolde Teague, I believe is how their name is pronounced. This is the one I knit for myself. It is slouchy and wonderful. I made this one out of the Dove Collarway. No, I'm sorry. Dove Heather Collarway. All of these are knit out of Knit Picks Stroll Yarn. Uh, and yeah, this is like, I'm sure you can see it. It's like a light gray. I wanted something pretty neutral for myself. I knit one of these bad boys for every member of my family. So myself, my husband, and our three kids. And it was amazing. And I'm really excited to have these put away and ready to go when uh, fall and winter roll around and I'm not like scrambling to make something. So this one is mine. This one is the adult medium size. I actually knit all but one of them in the adult medium size. And that was my youngest son's. But so they're all adult medium. I used a US size three knitting needle. Oh my goodness, why? This is my husband's. It's in the colorway black. And uh, we have two dogs and a cat and I am sure that this thing is just gonna be a hair magnet. So there's that one. This one is the navy blue. This is the navy colorway. This is, oh my gosh. I don't know why I am blanking here. Let me log into my... Ravelry. Oh. If I can, like, remember a password ever. Okay. Dogwood Heather. The pink is dogwood heather. I love the like variation of tones in this in their heather colorways. 
And then the last one, let me pull this one up too so I don't get completely thrown off by the name of the colorway again. I thought I knew it, but yeah, okay. So this one is the one that I knit in the adult small slash child size. And this is the colorway Everglade Heather. And if you have never knit a muscle burk hat before, one second. Okay, so how I knit these is I actually start mine with uh, double pointed needles. I use these from Knit Picks. It's the six inch Caspian double pointed needle set. Uh, I use the US 3, 3.25 millimeter size and you start with a pinhole cast on and you just start increasing and once you get like uh, an inch or so of fabric knitted up then you kind of are able to see like your gauge and in the pattern there is a table where you can find your gauge and then figure out what amount of stitches and increases and everything. All the information is there. It's super easy to do and I, I love it. Once you get to that point, you just knit forever. So this is a really good project if you like just want to put in an audiobook or you're watching TV or a movie or whatever with your family. If you need to just take something simple with you and you're waiting at doctors, offices, and all of that good stuff. Yeah, you knit forever. I will say that once I get done with all of my increases, I go ahead and switch to my circular needles. So this is the, the hat that I currently have on my needles. And I'm using the Chiaogu four inch interchangeable needle set. I don't, I'll link it below. This hat I'm knitting out of Knit Picks Palette in the Victorian colorway. So the Knit Picks Stroll is super wash yarn and it has some nylon in it. The palette does not, it is not super wash. So it, it's 100%, let me look at the tag. Yeah, it's 100% Peruvian Highland wool. Oh my gosh, this camera, I can't figure out. So I purchased two balls of this to knit up. Yeah, so this is 50 grams. You typically need about 100 grams if you're going to knit one of these hats. Okay, anyways, back on track. What I was saying was that once I get all of my increases done, match my gauge to the table, do the increases, get to that magic number, then I go ahead and switch over to my circular needles. I think you can do the whole thing with double pointed needles. I'm sure you could. I don't know why you wouldn't, um, but it's just easier for me to switch over to the circular. I put on my beginning of round marker and I just go. Um, so you knit, 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 knit like crazy until your hat reaches a certain length. That is also included in the pattern. However many inches that you need, you knit to that point. I'm gonna take those. Okay, so say this is the beginning. These are the increases here. And then you knit, 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 knit until it tells you and then instead of increasing like you did at the beginning to finish the thing off you are going to be doing decreasing so you do decreases like the pattern says you just follow along i mean before you know it you're done so when you're in and you have this looking thing so you take it like this and in order to get it like a hat you kind of stuff it in on itself. I'm trying to do this so that you can see. It's okay. 
So you stuff it in like on itself and it's like folded in half. And then you have a hat and you can also fold the brim up, fold the brim up and then you have, so if this is double thick, then this folding it up would make it quadruple thick around your ears. I am loving this pattern. I'm really excited to be making my tenth. So I'm knitting this in the exact same size, but since the fiber content is different, I'm kind of trying to see like what the difference of the finished product is after I've knitted up. And I will be posting a review of the differences. So you guys will have to tell me what your favorite hat pattern is. Have you knit a Musselberg hat? And if you have, what did you think about it? How many have you knit? I want to know because this pattern is so addictive. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.